All right, today we're saying happy birthday to a hosted comedian who is well loved for his contributions to the genre. We're talking about David Letterman. He hosted late night television talk shows for more than 30 years, from late night on NBC to The Late Show on CBS. He is the longest serving late night talk show host in American television. Letterman retired though in 2015. A native of Indiana, Letterman is a big fan of the Indy 500, where this photo was taken, and he has spent a fair amount of his retirement at the track or fiddling with his various high-performance automobiles. But we're going to mark his birthday with a stunt he pulled during Ronald Reagan's second term in office. In 1987, Letterman was hosting Late Night on NBC, and he got some dismal news from Maine. The, uh, the gist of this memo uh, concerns uh, a town known as Bangor, Maine. Anybody here from Bangor? All right. I've been to Bangor once when I was a kid. Seemed like a lovely community uh, in, I believe, the central, well, there it is, part of Maine. And uh, the memo says, based on the latest Nielsen reports, it appears that Bangor, Maine had the lowest delivery of all local markets with a rating below 1.0 and uh, unreportedly low share level, which they determined to be unmeasurable. Now, now, what all of this means essentially is there's no one in the city of Bangor, Maine watching this show. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> so we said to ourselves, geez, that's, that's kind of too bad, and uh, not, not many of us really know too much about Bangor, so let's find out a couple of things and, and see if there's something we can't do to, to overcome this. No one in Bangor, Paul, that's right. No one's watching. That's right. <laughs> no one stays up and watches. 32,000 is the population of Bangor, Maine. The, uh, the NBC affiliate there is uh, WLBZ. WLBZ. WLBZ Channel 2. Bangor was founded as a city in 1769. Uh, they produce many wonderful products, local products. Well, Bangor is a, uh, a trade and distribution center for northeastern Maine. And talk about products. Anybody fond of walking owes a debt of thanks to Bangor, Maine. It's a leading producer of shoes. Anyone for lumber or lumber byproducts? Well, the abundant forests of the pine tree state surround Bangor like an emerald necklace. And finally, paper. From napkins to facial wipes, truly, Bangor is a place where, hey, anything goes. Thank you very much, Lori. So we, we, we have the problem now that no one in Bangor is uh, watching this show, and we know a little bit more about the fine city of Bangor, Maine, but what, what can we do to help overcome this obstacle? Uh, we've invited a friend out here tonight to, to help us with this problem. Larry, are you back there? Ladies and gentlemen, our good friend Larry Bud Melman. Larry? Okay. All right, nice to see you. What do you have here? So, so now, Larry, we have something here that we think will help improve our ratings in Bangor, Maine. Mm -hmm. what, what do we have? I'm going to read from the white pages. Uh -huh. The, white, the white, white pages of Bangor, Maine. Of Bangor, Maine. You're just going to select it random? I'm going to select it random. The names of people living right. in Bangor. And Bangor. All right, go All right, right ahead. Durham R. Huh? Durham R. Wouldn't it be R, Durham? Well, they have it here, Durham R. Is that OK? Oh, all right. So it sounds to me like this book may be alphabetized. Absolutely. Yeah. How about Judd Gustin? Kind of handy, I guess. Who? Judd Gustin. Judd Gustin. Okay. All right. Uh, Mitchell Kenneth. <laughs> okay. And again, I'm guessing maybe his name is... Kenneth Mitchell. There you go. Oh, thank you, Dave. So, so here's, here's what we're going to do. Every night, we're going to be mentioning people who have their names in the Bangor phone book. Now, don't you think seriously that that's worth staying up for? I guess we do. Thank you, Dave. Thanks, Larry. Now, Paul, I, I understand you have a little contribution you'd like to make. Yes, I have, David, actually. Uh, this is a Jeff Martin composition, and it goes something like this. Third box car, midnight train. Destination, Bangor, Maine. 
A place where they make sandpaper, shoes, and lumber. But those lumberjacks and shoers, they're not late night TV viewers. For at midnight, sad to say, they'd rather slumber. Hey, banger, it's a beautiful lady. Yeah, banger, is a sweet, sweet mystery. Banger, hey, I don't even know her. But someday that town will belong to me. Paul Schaefer, ladies and gentlemen. Let me ride back here with So here's the postscript. He did indeed read names from the Bangor white pages for a whole month. And yes, a number of people complained about his pronunciation of the city. He said he would start pronouncing it correctly. You guessed it, when people in Bangor started watching. We love Bangor, a lot <laughs> happens there.